Well, if you're looking for something to do during the pandemic, what about some model steam engines? I've got a small array of them here. Uh, these are owned by my son, Sean, and he will demonstrate uh, this particular machine here a little bit later. Um, they come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. You've got mobile ones like the steamroller here. There's also traction engines and steam cars. Um, this one here is actually an Australian one. This is a Steamco engine. I'll actually uh, put some links to the major manufacturers of these uh, uh, on the video so that you can actually have a look at uh, what's available. Uh, this is a Wilsco uh, uh, generator set. It has a little light here and, and a little generator, a boiler, and obviously the steam engine on the side there. Um, this is one of their more elaborate kits. Um, actually, Speaking of kits, you can actually buy some of these in kit form. It just really just depends on uh, what you want to spend. You can save a little bit of money on some of the Wilsco ones. They make actually a couple of kit versions of them, though not the whole range is not available as a kit, just a select few. Uh, and you can also get uh, little workshops uh, that you can either buy individual items, mount them to a board, or buy a complete workshop that you can run. So the first thing we have to do is we oil the steam engine. There's oiler points on some engines and on others you just have to lubricate the pivot points and the piston. And next we fill the boiler with hot water, that'll speed up the process, so don't fill the boiler with cold water. I usually boil the kettle first and then fill the boiler. Most boilers will have a sight glass of some description on them, but typically they are filled about two thirds full of water. Then we light the fuel, this particular engine runs on solid fuel, so you light that in its tray and then you put the tray into the boiler. Now we just have to wait a few minutes for the boiler to build a head of steam. Now we can open the valve and start the engine. Some engines need to be coaxed into operation with a little flick of the flywheel. A lot of others will just start automatically, just depending on uh, their age and their construction. and you'll get quite a few minutes of running from a full head of steam. And you can also run accessories off this engine. Well, that's it for model steam. You know, I hope one or two of you actually gets a bit of a thrill out of it and decides to go down the model steam route. You know, these are the sort of toys that I couldn't afford and certainly my parents couldn't afford. Fortunately, uh, in this modern age, they're a little bit more affordable and my son has had the pleasure of growing up with, uh, with these uh, model steam engines uh, as toys and they're certainly there and they were an inspiration to many kids back in the day for a career in engineering or on the railways or in steam in general. So that's about it for this video and I'll catch you next time.